Now, in order to find the linear regression model for this, uh, we've got the equation is of the form y equals a plus bx. Now, to find b, what you've got to remember is that for an equation like this, which we often call y on x, b is given by sxy divided by sxx. So all you need to do is put in these two values that we found in the earlier part of the question and divide 4337.5 by 2821.875 and what you should get is 1.5370 and so on. Now I won't round this up because we're going to need this in the next part. That is to get A. So how do we get A? Well, what we can do is rearrange this equation by subtracting BX from both sides. So if you do that, you therefore, or we can just say also, A equals Y minus BX. Now, to get A from this equation, what you've got to remember is that when you've got a scatter diagram, let's say we've got our axis x and y, when you've got a scatter diagram and the line of best fit going close to lots of points like this, there's always one point which won't necessarily be in your table but always lies on the line. And that is this, the point, let's just mark a dot there, the point x bar, y bar the mean of x and the mean of y. And if we know that that point lies on our line, then what we can do is we can therefore say it satisfies the equation. So a would equal y bar minus b x bar. OK, x bar, y bar, point on the line, so it satisfies this equation. Now we need to work out what the mean of x is and the mean of y. Is. So we can do that just simply by saying x bar, we should know, is the sum of x divided by however many values we've got. And in this particular case, sum of x, sigma x, 315, divided by how many values we've got, which is 8. Work that out, and what you should find you get is 39.375. We also need to find the mean for y, y bar, which similarly is sigma y over n. And sigma y, where is it? Up here somewhere, 620, there you go. 620 divided by n, which is 8. Do that sum, and what you get is 77.5. So we can use these results then, sub them into here, and what we've got is that therefore A equals Y bar, which we now know is 77.5, minus B, which was 1.5370 and so on. That's why we didn't want to round that. And then X bar, which is 39.375, 39.375. Do that calculation on your calculator what you should get is that A turns out to be 16.9806 and so on. Now we need to give A and B to one decimal place so A to one decimal place is going to be 17.0 and B to one decimal place is going to be 1.5. Okay so just say both to one DP 1dp, there you go. And we've got our values then for A and B.